Hello and welcome to Ninja Tactics Live. My name is Nick Polkowski and I am so excited you're here. And today we are going to be talking about uh, one of the most important things you can do in terms of sticking with a habit or creating a, some sort of lasting change in your life. And that is to actually monitor your progress. Because if you, as the old saying goes, what we measure gets managed. So what gets measured gets managed is kind of an old saying uh, that a lot of, that you'll hear a lot around the business world. But it is so true because if you do not um, somehow measure or track your progress, it is likely that you are not going to be following through on it or there will be some sort of issue uh, where it will just kind of slip through the cracks in the work that you're doing. So that is absolutely essential. And we are going to be talking about how uh, uh, how you can actually monitor and manage your pro your your process your in your creating your habit. And for me, the biggest thing is is something called the take action tally. So be sure you're listening to this because this is the biggest key. In order to monitor your progress, you need to do what is called the take action tally. So here is how here is why it is so crucial to do this this step because the take action tally allows you to kind of gather your habits all in one place. So you gather up all your habits and it really gives you kind of a big picture view of every habit or every action or behavior that you are working to try and change, which is important because if you overstuff your plate it will be very hard to stick with your habits, especially right away when you're just starting those habits out. Uh, and the big key for me is that it actually makes it very tangible. Uh, you know, the habits or the actions that we're trying to do can oftentimes, you know, be kind of out there almost. You know, they're not necessarily a, a tangible thing. You can't see it kind of bring it, it's not like you're collecting something, they're, they're just actions that you're doing. So it's very intangible, very hard to make real almost. So by doing this take action tally, you're actually able to make it more real. You're able to kind of see the marks on the paper and really kind of bring that home and drive that point home. So here is how the take action tally works. It is a worksheet that I created. I created a worksheet for it. You don't necessarily have to use uh, this worksheet. You can uh, you can uh, create your own you know, in another way, and I'll go through that in just a second. Uh, some other options how you can create it. But here's how what the take action tally looks like. So it is a worksheet. Take action weekly ta weekly tally. So you have all of your different areas. You have the actions. Actions are going to be on this side, actions, behaviors. You write them in in the blank there. And then on Monday, if you do that action, you put a little X mark, put a, some sort of cross, some sort of indicator, check mark, whatever you want to do. Scribble out, color in the box if you want to. Some indicator that you did the action. If you do it on Tuesday as well, you mark that box off also. But let's say you miss on Wednesday. For some whatever reason, you weren't able to do your daily routine, that action or behavior, that you would leave blank. And it's this very visual representation of your entire week. Uh, and I also included columns over here. Because not everything that I wanted to use this worksheet for was a daily habit. Sometimes it was uh, something I just do a couple times a week. Uh, so I have a goal area. So you write in how many times you wish you'd do it that week. Maybe it's five, maybe it's seven, maybe it's three. Maybe you want to exercise three times a week. You put that number there. And then at the end of the week, when you're doing your weekly review, you're going to look back over the week and see how many times you actually completed your uh, activity, your action, how many check marks are there. You write that number in the done, the done column. And then uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your goals, minus your done column and you're going to come out with your net. So let's say your goal was to do an activity to exercise five days a week, but you only exercise three days. You would have a negative two net. Or let's say your goal was to exercise five days a week, but instead of doing five days a week, you actually went and exercised seven days a week. Then your net would be a plus two. So our 
what we're shooting for here is within your date range is to have all zeros or pluses in your net column. So you want that whole net column to be all zeros or all pluses. That's when you know you're really kind of rocking and rolling. Uh, and it's that's when you know you are cementing those into your uh, into your psyche, into your daily pattern. So if you can this is only one week's worth. So you're basically every single week you'll print out a new one and then go after and try and complete that uh, take action tally uh, for that week. Now, I, now I mentioned there's some other possibilities that you can monitor this progress. There are a couple different apps that you could use. Um, on my phone, I have actually two electronic apps that I use. I don't. I prefer the paper. To be honest, I prefer the take action tally that worksheet right there that I just created. I prefer to use that to monitor everything, but there are a couple of them, and I cannot find them, of course, right now. But the two I would recommend, there's actually two. Um, one is called Lyft. So what Lyft is is basically it allows you to uh, share your habits that you're trying to create with a community, with a group of people, and they can plus them or saying, like, awesome, good job when you complete something or uh, they can leave a comment on the task when you complete it. So basically you're marking off, you're checking mark each habit, but then you're, there's a community feel there as well. Or if you don't want to be so community focused and you want to keep it more private, there's an excellent app called Streaks. And that one is basically a calendar view. And so you have a calendar there and you're just checking out the days that you actually do the activity. So it puts a big X mark on that day. And that brings me to uh, another kind of story. Jerry Seinfeld, uh, the comedian, is actually kind of well known for the way he wrote jokes. He would write, j write a certain amount every single day. And he had a saying that his, his goal was to never break the chain. So with these take action tallies, with keeping track of your habits some way, either on a calendar or app or whatever, you begin to see when you start marking off a few days, you know, in big red X's, you begin to see a chain get created. You know, there's a chain of red X's. And it's basically your goal. You're kind of playing a game with yourself where you're trying not to break the chain. You want to keep those X marks going. So the way Jerry did it, he actually had a big uh, calendar that he put on his wall uh, in his office and it was displayed publicly. And he'd mark it with a big red marker. So that is another possibility, possible way for you to monitor your progress. The big key is create a take action tally. Create some sort of sheet where you are stringing items together and you're actually able to monitor uh, your progress. Because what you measure improves and what you improves improves you. So that is your take action. Uh, that is your ninja tactic today. So now go out and take action.